Hello and welcome to another section of the uh, live stream. <clears throat> so we're going to continue on with this uh, Java thing. We're going to add a, let's see, we're going to add a tile level to our um, setup. Oh. We? So for this, we're going to be inheriting the level itself. So if we go into the levels, we make a new class. Just call it uh, maybe tiled level or level tile or mm, tiled level, I think. <clears throat> now, this is going to extend the level class so it can become a level. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see, so what else do we want in here? We want some tiles. So we'll make like an array of tiles. So private uh, tile array tiles. We'll have to import tile. <clears throat> so what else do we want? We want to have some sort of a map of the idea of a, an index or a coordinate um, and an actual tile. So let, let's make a quick map of that. So we'll say private map. I'm going to map an integer to a tile. Uh, we'll call this like tile, I don't know, indices, codes, yeah, codes. It's going to be like um, each tile is going to have like an ID or something. So we'll make a new hash map. Integer and type. <clears throat> so we could maybe instantiate this using a width and height. And um, we're just going to utilize the super for each of these. So we'll make a public uh, tile level, taking in a width and a height. <clears throat> and all we'll do is we'll say um, super uh, width and height. And then we'll do the same sort of thing for the um, string file name type version as well. So we'll make a public uh, tiled level taking in a string file path or file name or path file name. Come on. <clears throat> and then we'll just call super passing it the file name. Okay, we want to also be able to load a file. So we need to kind of deal with that sort of loading part of it. So we're going to utilize textures and load in some textures and grab all the pixels in and stuff. So let's do that then. Let's say uh, public void load. We'll take a string file name. <clears throat> and for this one, it's going to return an int array pixels equal to a texture um, dot load of the file name okay so we've got the the texture which we can import And we're loading the file name. Uh, need to put a capital N there. And then what I want to do is I want to do got, get pixels. Okay. So now we've actually got this sort of section of pixels here. 
Uh, let's think what else we got. <clears throat> so we want to be able to add a code and a tile pair to the tile codes um, map. So we can do a public uh, void add tile code, passing in an int code and also a tile. So now we say tile codes dot add. Was it push? Sorry, not add. Would have been add if it was a uh, right list. Um, code and uh, name. <clears throat> and then we want to generate, but we're not going to actually generate. So all we'll just do, do is for now public void uh generate and just do nothing in there just gen. there we go generate um then we want to ability to get a single a single tile based upon its x and y position on a level so we can do a public uh, tile get tile passing it a x and a y coordinate <clears throat> but this we need to kind of make sure it's in bounds so what we'll say is we'll say if the x is less than zero or x is greater than or equal to width or y is less than zero, or y is greater than or equal to height, then return null. <clears throat> so we, we've got, let's imagine we have like a null tile. I mean, we could make actual void tiles or something later on, but now we just return null. Then what we do is we say that int key is going to be equal to the tiles at now we need to do the same sort of thing the x plus y times width calculation so then we need to see if the tile codes that we have contains a key of that type if it already does then we can return null Otherwise, return the tile codes at that key. So we're kind of just moving forward with doing that. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm, did I need to do... <clears throat> Hang on a minute. Do I want just numbers for this tiles really instead of a tile array, didn't I? Because I'm using the actual keys, aren't I? Fine, that's fine. And that's got to have it equals. Typos for the win. Right, okay. So that's fine. Then. So let's think. So if we don't have existing uh, an existing key, then we'll return none, basically. So 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 if our tile codes dot contains key of key. So if it doesn't contain the key of key, then again, there is no tile. So return, no. Yeah. Again, you could have this like a void tile of some sort or something. <clears throat> Otherwise, we find ourselves sort of grabbing a key from the tile code. So we'll say return tile codes dot uh, get and pass in. Okay. There we go. So that's our get tile functionality. Okay, so we've now got a tiled level, which inherits from level. We haven't instantiated any levels or anything yet. We haven't sort of built that out in any way, shape, or form just yet. We just have that concept of it, and it's it's there, as I think. 
So those concepts are there and we're able to kind of have this theoretical rendering of sprites and stuff. We haven't like made a tile renderer or anything like that yet. Um, we've only got textures and sprites that are able to be rendered as such. Um, but we can build this up as we go. So I think it's going to take its time, but it's, it's getting there so far. So I think that will do, and we'll have another little break. Um, and then maybe we'll think on what the next set of things I want to build into this are. We've got quite a lot of constructs here. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to being able to actually just sort of like render some form of a map, but we'll get that. So it's been awesome, and I'll see you in the next section.